What's up guys? You're Hi J from I Production. Uh, wanna go with the part one of the build, but first let's go with the part I just bought. So here we go, part one of the build. So I just received this package right here. There we go. We got a K-Tune fuel pressure regulator with all the hoses and this same fuel drill I already got because the guy uh, the guy didn't want to sold without the fuel rail so I said fuck it and I'm buy it so obviously uh, it's all uh, used but I think it's gone it's gonna do the job you see the uh, that's a hybrid racing conversion harness for a case wipe in Ichi. It is used and I pay I pay only two hundred dollars for it. Like brand new is like I don't know maybe three hundred US and I pay only two hundred uh, Canadian for it. So that's a good deal. Also get the sensor for the temperature in the cluster got it from a DC re in the in the scrap yard just gonna have to tap the wire and that's it also got from the scrap yard this uh, power steering pump I want to go power steering for the build uh, I'm trying to find the, the, the good uh, pulley I know Jackson Racing used to do one but they don't do it anymore, so I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I tried the K Tune, this one on it, but it, it doesn't want to fit. So I don't know. I got some idea, but if you know which one I can use, just write in the comment section. It will help me a lot, guys. I'm a, I'm a little angry right now. I just, I just realized I'm gonna need a new clutch as you can see this part is fucked up and the other side too it's chunked out so I'm gonna need a new clutch Well, that's it guys, the intake fitted, it fits pretty good, not perfect. Uh, I just want to show you what I'm doing right now, I am currently removing this uh, driver's side uh, mount, OEM of the car to be able to put the case area on so yeah right now I'm drilling it I'm drilling the with this this first focus on that so I finally removed the original mount then I pa paper sand it Put some uh, some primer, then paper sand again. Then I'm starting to uh, add some uh, color match paint. So yeah, that's it. After I'm gonna put, gonna have to put this mount in this place right there. So uh, yeah. after that, we're gonna be ready to. Uh, Swap the block. So I finished the uh, color match. It's not perfect, but keep in mind I want to paint back the whole car one day. Maybe now, maybe not now, because I'm putting all the money I got in the swap. But eventually I want to paint the whole car back. So it's gonna be always like 
like this. But I think for now it's okay. As you can see with what it's gonna look like with the the side bracket. It's not bottom yet. I'm gonna have to make the hole with the long stud. But it's all paint out and ready to, to bow. <coughs> so I did the two holes for the the bracket, the mount. I'm gonna use these bolts. Put in the mount. Already did put this this mount here, and this one is wait is waiting to to be swapped. So I just finished install the the timing belt side bracket. Pretty easy install. All you have to do is put in line like the. All you have to do is put in line these bolts with the with the OEM front mount uh, hole, and just get the the hole bigger. Then you do the you do the two hole for this this one, and you tighten it. That's easy. And right now I'm trying to uh, remove the uh, uh, radiator bracket. I'm gonna have to remove the AC one.